New tonight, we are hearing from local activists and Citadel alumni after a racially insensitive social media post circulated on a Citadel alumnus social media page. News News' Lexi Moore joins us live in studio. Lexi, college leaders say the entire thing was fake, but some people say officials with the Citadel should hold those who posted it accountable. Brendan, college leaders say an alumni posted a fake news release that appeared to be from the Citadel in a Facebook group. Tonight, I heard from activists and a notable alum who says something needs to be done. A fake post causing a lot of heat on social media. We don't all agree on a lot of things, but some of the stuff that has come across this page has been hurtful. A racially insensitive Facebook post in a Citadel alumni page. Based on a tip News 2 received, the post includes a headline about the Citadel celebrating Black History Month with an offensive photo and fake statement from the college's president, which resembles a newsletter. Even at a school that has the values of the Citadel, you're going to find... Some people will slip through the cracks. Bruce Alexander, the founding president of the Citadel's African American Alumni Association, was mentioned on the fake post. And he says the people who posted it is not a reflection of the college's values. Having seen the post, I, it was really shocking to me. Anything that's not um, supporting diversity and equity should not be tolerated. Low Country activist Pastor Thomas Dixon spoke on his thoughts regarding the post and he says the school should take immediate action of those who posted it and hold them accountable. If the Citadel, Citadel Alumni Association and whomever is associated with that, if they really want to break the bonds of racism that have existed, they will begin drawing hard lines on those who cross the line. The college released a statement responding to the social media post saying a part, quote, the nature of the post was racially offensive. The Citadel will not sit idly by and tolerate comments of this nature. It is important to publicly condemn these comments in the strongest possible terms as they completely opposed to our core values, honor, duty, and respect.